my name is Cloud. I am an interior architect. Now I'm studying Master of Design and Art Faculty in UNSW. My hobby is drawing. I like drawing and the landscape and the portrait. Recently, I'm doing a project about aged care in Australia. Uh, Australia people like enjoying time on the beach. That is one of my dreams. Additionally, uh, I can learn a different culture and a different uh, international style here. That is the reason why I'm studying here. Yeah, actually, in the beginning stage, I dislike painting at all because my parents they didn't agree me to paint because as an artist, you cannot earn money, you, you know, stable money in your career. And uh, gradually, I uh, like painting because my parents, they affect me in some degree. And uh, after that, I use paint as a scales to benefit my architectural career. So then I start to practice painting every day in the morning. Then gradually, I love the painting. Can you tell me why were you choose architecture? Yeah, when I was a child, I used to play the Tetris. The Tetris is, uh, inspired me a lot. So when I grow up, I want to be an architect. Because the, as an architect, I could build a building which could give a place for people living and uh, have uh, some activity there. In my opinion, architecture is not only a place to give people safety and belonging, and but also it gives uh, people some special experience, like the exhibition space. So as an architect, I'm proud of my job because I could build uh, some place and a good place for people and for the human. Our project is called the Kelly Court Exterior uh, Reconstruction Project. The Kelly Court is an aged care center in uh, northern Sydney. The cooperate there ask us to redesign the new facilities for the old people. And uh, our design is divided in the four stages. The first stage is called the preliminary research. In this stage, we did some research uh, of the existing landscape there, and uh, we found that there are some issues in this carry court area. And uh, we found that the local people there, they have uh, different religions and uh, have uh, some different cultures. So we divided them into the three groups. The second stage is the design stage. The design stage we divided into the three stages. Firstly, we analyzed the layouts. Well, this red part uh, shows the 16 problems of the design and existing areas. And uh, then we come up with some design concepts. We divide it to the design form and design objectives. And uh, the third is final co cooperation. In this stage, we will cooperate the supervisors there, and uh, we will build uh, some new facilities together for these aged people. The main target of our project is give the old people an opportunity to exercise and uh, enable them to do more exercise and get the good health and uh, well-being. And also, it could give the staff there an offer of enjoyment and convenience for the staff. Well, for example, we did the research about the Australian aged people you know, Australia, they are facing the issue of the aging population very increasingly. So uh, there are around the 17% aged people in Australia. Our project, old people there, they also got the dimension problem. So the, some people, they cannot see the things very clearly. Use this picture as an example. Yeah, you can see the effect of the pig become 
yellow. So that's the, what the dimension people they see the world. You can see they cannot divide them of the door very clearly. So sometimes they meet problem to go across the door. I think our design could enable people to avoid this problem. For example, we could design some contrast color and also make the door more obvious for these old people, which could enable them get a good health and well-being in the future. Your English is second language. Do you think English language affect you to communicate in your project? It's hard to communicate the customs um, and explain my ideas to the customs. Um, however, uh, our professor Fang, he gave us a lot of the help in the project. Klang is a, a master design uh, student who currently study in the design program at Art and Design UASW. And currently, uh, he also involved in the, uh, the project called a care code exterior environment. So design. totally, we uh, have a good communication with customs and uh, has a, uh, in a good process in this um, project. My favorite architect is called Lang Luer. His architecture is relation with the local culture and local religious and local landscapes. And uh, as far as I can remember, his famous word is called the future of the architecture. It's not belongs to architecture. Actually, the future of architecture is belongs to the, the local culture and the, the different uh, peoples, their religious and uh, their ideas and the local landscapes. Central Park, as an example, you can see the irrigation system is spread all the surface of the building. And you can see the green plants are glowing, spread the buildings. This is because of the irrigation systems. And also you can see there's a very shining in the center of the building. This place could enable the sunshine from a different direction to the some shaded area. The shaded room could use this place to enable the sunshine to get into these rooms. So the room, the newer residents from the, this building could join the sunshine from the different rooms. I think this is a very good standard example for the architecture and for the other architect. And I also encourage the different architect could use this as an example to build more sustainable buildings in